1991. That's the last time the Detroit Lions won a playoff game. Zero BC. That's the last time the Detroit Lions went to the Super Bowl. They've never been to the Super Bowl. Now, Lions fans right now are rejoicing. It looks like we're headed to the playoffs in real life. But don't forget the decades of pain we have endured to get here. I'm going to be taking over as GM of the Detroit Lions for the next 10 years. And we'll see just how many Super Bowl rings we can bring to Detroit. Let's take a look at the good and the bad. Number one on offense. A lot to be excited about. One of the best young wide receivers in football, the sun god, Amon St. Brown. 23 years old. He's a 90 overall superstar. He might even be a 99 overall at the end of year one. Definitely going to get X Factor. But this might be one of the first rebuilds I've ever done where I'm genuinely concerned about salary cap. The biggest question mark on this team is Jared Goff. I like Jared Goff. He's a great quarterback and he's a great quarterback in Madden, but he's 28 years old. This is a 10-year rebuild. I don't think 38-year-old Jared Goff will be suiting up. So at some point here, we are going to have to move on from Jared Goff, David Montgomery, and Jameer Gibbs. This just doesn't make sense to me. We drafted Jameer Gibbs, but we signed David Montgomery to a three-year, 20 million, something like that. I want to use one running back. And honestly, anybody can be his backup. Craig Reynolds comes in and honestly does halfway decent. He's a 68 overall, but I'm not on the duo running back train. I have a feeling I'll be trading away David Montgomery, trying to get some capital out of him. Keep in mind, I like to use strong draft classes for every single position. I think it makes the game way more fun. One thing to know about Detroit is they love their tight ends. We have burnt a lot of draft capital over the years on tight ends. 76 overall 22 year old. You know he's going to get so much better and he's fast. 86 speed, 88 excel. All those route runnings, everything else, that can get improved. I like Laporte a lot. Tackles are already really, really expensive in the National Football League. There's a very highly paid position and he's an 88 overall and he's a superstar. He's already a top. He's the third best right tackle in Madden and he's going to progress crazy fast because he's a superstar. So that's a little concerning. Offensive line, we got Ragnar who's a 90 and star. Jonah Jackson's a 77. He's only 26 years old. This offensive line is great too, honestly. I like Decker and then Graham Glasgow is the only guy that could eventually be upgraded. He's getting older too, so we'll look to draft a right guard in this upcoming draft. Probably not with my first round pick, but potentially a second. Then you switch over to defense. One of the most important positions, I think, in the NFL and in Madden franchises is corners. All of my Super Bowl teams always have a nasty corner. We have none. I do like Kirby Joseph, and then here's the thing. They've got Brian Branch not starting. He's kind of like plays nickel. I'm going to switch this up. I do like Kirby Joseph. He's really young and he's star. I'm going to move Kirby Joseph to free safety so that Brian Branch can start at strong safety. And we're going to move Tracy Walker down out of the depth chart. Brian Branch is now the starting strong safety. This is our second round pick out of Bama. I think this is one of the steals of the draft. One of the like highest values for where we got him. I love Brian Branch. There's just so much good young talent on this team. Aiden Hutchinson. I'm honestly shocked he's only star. I kind of thought he would get superstar. But Aiden Hutchinson, 23 years old. 80 86 overall. And then there's Jack Campbell, another rookie, another hidden dev, 23 years old. One early thing I want to do with this team is I want to switch our defensive scheme. I don't like that we're running a 3-4 because really all of our linebackers kind of suck. Malcolm Rodriguez is okay. Anzalone's okay. I'd much prefer a 4-3 where Aiden Hutchinson can apply pressure. Potentially we draft somebody who can also apply pressure because I don't think Aquara is going to cut it. But then Jack Campbell being the middle linebacker is perfect in that and we're less relying on our backers. So I'm going to switch their scheme first and foremost. We're going to switch to a 4-3 quarters here. I will run Detroit's defensive playbook, but offensively, Dallas and Kansas City are always the best. The reason I like Kansas City is because they use their tight end a lot. And I want Laporta getting those reps. So I think all of our wide receivers will kind of equally get the ball. It's not the best for Jameer Gibbs. It's not the best offensive scheme for him, but I think he'll still cook anyway. So here's the 4-3 look. I already like this significantly better. If I had to give a priority list for positions, I would say corners. Second priority is probably a D tackle. And then third priority is going to be a right guard to replace Glasgow. Uh, recently, we traded for Donovan Peoples-Jones. I was going to say we need another wide receiver, but we did trade for DPJ in real life. So I do like him. I'm going to move him up in the depth chart. I think he should be getting more reps than Josh Reynolds. And of course, we have Jamison Williams, who I'm also going to move up in the depth chart too. I actually will move him above DPJ in the depth chart. Amon Ra is our slot wide receiver already. Making sure Gibbs is our uh, halfback in all our sets. Just generate our rookies. Let's see what this class is looking like. There's a top five corner. The thing is, I don't think we're going to end up with a top five pick. I think we're going to play pretty well this year. I'm predicting like nine and eight, maybe 10 and seven. So we'll end up in the middle of the pack. There's another corner right there, LaShawn Hairston. There's another corner right here, Trent Sampson out of Michigan, 6'3". That looks like more where I'll be picking. I'm going to 
fire Erica Cruz. She does quarterbacks and wide receivers. Not even thinking about either of those positions right now. We're gonna hire Yijuan Huang. He does corners and middle linebackers. Welcome to Detroit, buddy. Have to imagine you are far from home. Let's see what kind of offers we got for David Montgomery. The Bears want to get rid of Darnell Mooney, Steven Nelson in a seventh. Brian Asamoah, a fourth, a sixth, and a seventh. The Ravens would fucking part ways with Odafe Owe? Are you kidding? For David Montgomery? Why do you even want him? Hey, well, I, I shouldn't say that. Montgomery's really good. He's an 83 star, but I am shocked by that offer. Odafe Owe? You fucking kidding me? Yes, I want that. Jameer Gibbs is the true RB1 now in Detroit. Defensively, though, that's just so insane. Now, Odafe Owe is primarily a power rusher. I'm going to switch Odafe Owe to an edge rusher. I'm going to make him left end. Owe's actually a higher overall at left end. He's a 79. All right, y'all. This team is fully ready to go. Let's see how this season one goes. Everybody is in position to succeed right now. Yo, I predicted nine and eight. We go exactly nine and eight, but we made the playoffs. The Packers went 12 and five. That's one of the first times I've ever seen that. Bears were horrible. Vikings were horrible. Jared Goff, six in the NFL in passing yards. Not bad. Mahomes led the league. Then Prescott, Burrow, Dobbs. Yo, hello. Josh Dobbs, the pasture dot. That's awesome. Golf was 28 for 12. That's a really good season. It's not MVP caliber by any means. Looks like it might be Josh Allen, 35 and 2, but 956. Jared Goff had a shocking amount of rushing yards. Holy shit. Jameer Gibbs, 956 and 6. It's a little underwhelming. Receiving. Oh my God. Number one receiver. I told you we were using the tight end. I didn't expect it like that. Laporta, 88 receptions, 1,000 yards, 12 touchdowns. The Sun God, 922 and 8. Peoples Jones, DPJ got a lot of reps. 919 and 1. And J Mo, 730 and 6 touchdowns. So really well distributed on the receiving side. Defensively, Jack Campbell, 12 TFLs, 11 for Brian Branch, two interceptions out of Campbell, one out of Brian Branch. This could be a defensive rookie of the year campaign for Jack Campbell. That many tackles, that many TFLs, two interceptions and half a sack. You'd like to see more sacks, but Aiden Hutchinson with eight. That might've been one of the best things we did. Odafe all way to left end. Seven sacks. He had eight. Hutch had eight. On Wuzurike had four and a half and he's dog shit. We need a better D tackle. Imagine those numbers if that's a good D tackle. Offensive rookie. Oh, of course it's Sam Laporta. I wasn't even thinking about that. Offensive rookie of the year is Sam Laporta. I've never seen that before. That's huge. Jameer got fifth. I'm Eskimo bros with Jaden Reed, by the way. <clears throat> I don't know if I ever mentioned that. Mm. <laughs> Defensive rookie of the year goes on Byron Young. Jack Campbell falls just short. And then Brian Branch behind him. Very good season, gentlemen. All right, so we're going to win some awards. We're definitely going to get some dev trade upgrades. And we've got this game here against the Niners. This is a 10-year rebuild, so I'm not going to watch every game, especially if I'm not going to Super Bowl. If we ever make an NFC Championship or a Super Bowl, I'll be sure to watch those games. But I have a feeling we're just going to get shit on here. 14-7. to 7. It was a little Eagles-Chiefs rematch in our first year of the 10 years. Tyree Wilson wins Defensive Rookie of the Year, and Offensive Rookie of the Year goes to Rishi Rice. So Sam Laporta does win it in the NFC, but the overall Rookie of the Year was actually Rishi Rice. That's unfortunate. But that's okay. I think Laporta still gets the dev trade upgrade regardless. And we'll actually we'll actually know right now, since the Super Bowl is over, if we got any dev trade upgrades. Hell, holy shit. So Sam Laporta is superstar already. He's gonna be an 88 overall. Oh, he's looking, he's looking amazing already. Jameer's low on morale, but he is a star now. Wide receivers are looking good. Jared Goff's feeling good. Defensively, Jack Campbell gets a dev trade upgrade. Brian Branch gets a dev trade upgrade for finishing probably so high in defensive rookie of the year. That's my guess. Away, no upgrade, and shockingly, no upgrade for Hutchinson. Free agency. I honestly want to save cap room for when all these young guys want to get paid. We are going to be a quiet team in free agency this year. There's nothing I want. It's time for our first NFL draft. Our pick is round one, pick 19. I could have swore I set my national scouting focus to corners, but I guess I didn't. There's a lot of good corners, though. There's a top five corner. There's two round ones, and there's three round one to twos. We'll have to see what's available when we come up. Let's see how this goes. Honestly, I want this corner out of Michigan so bad, and I'm kind of scared of him getting scooped. He's a 6'3 corner out of Michigan, and he's 21, which is the youngest they can be, which is amazing. Look at his fucking physicals. Elite speed, elite change of direction, great agility, great jumping. His acceleration is the only thing that's not amazing. I need to trade up to the Saints. Okay, so we're trading up nine spots. I have two third round picks. I'm going to give away one of my third round picks. It's actually, I might be giving up too much here. Let's see what they say. Uh, you think, did I get fleeced? I lose a third round, but I go up nine spots to get the guy I want. We're on the clock now. <laughs> My fate lies in the hands of Trent Sampson. Is that his name? Holy shit, this guy's a beast. I kind of figured he'd be a hidden dev. It's strong draft class, and he's a great quarterback. Holy shit, 95 speed, 95 change of direction, 91 excel. 
He's 6'3". He's at least star dev. And just maybe, just maybe could be superstar, even superstar X Factor. I've definitely seen it before. Let's go to our next pick, round two. I'm about to go back-to-back -back DBs. There's no D tackles that I'm really interested in. Dude, is this guy going to be nasty too? Great speed, great strength, elite change direction, elite agility. I'm going to have two fucking 6'3 corners. We are going to fully change Detroit's defense. Holy shit. I have the biggest corners in the league, bro. I got Sauce Gardner on both sides. Both hidden dev. That's huge. Also, we traded away our third round pick. So I maintain whoever's third round pick this is, which is high. Let me take Luke Harrison here. Elite speed out of Luke Harrison. Good, solid strength. I am, I'm going to take, I'm going to take this D tackle. Luke Harrison, that's a fast D tackle. 79 speed, 86 strength, 81 excel. He's almost 300 pounds. He's 6'5". Definitely a finesse guy, though. F power moves is not good. I'm going to let the CPU close this out. My next pick's not till the fifth round. Hopefully, they'll pick us up a right guard. If not, that's all right. The moment you've all been waiting for. First draft, draft recap. Oh, my God. Samson's an 81? And Carothers is a 77? And we are going to be the no-fly zone. Brian Branch is already a superstar. Samson's an 81, character's a 77. And I didn't even scout corners. I'm so glad we traded up for this guy. Holy shit. Holy shit. This guy's a freak. And then Carothers is basically the same thing. He's four overalls lower. He's a little slower, but shit. Luke Harrison, he's a 72. Okay, he's, he's okay. He's not to get too excited about, but at least I'll have a rookie getting reps rather than Adwu Zarike. Uh, computer took a high tower. He's kind of ass. Larry Joseph, they did take a right guard, but he's ass and he's normal dev. So he probably won't be getting reps over Glasgow. And then a 69 and a 62. So nothing crazy. 84 free save. Steven Hurst was the best player in the class. LaShawn Hairston was the DB taken right before Sampson, why I traded up. And the third best player in the entire class was Trent Sampson, who I got at pick 10. That's awesome. New look Detroit Lions heading into year two. Offense is simply the same thing, just way better than it was last year. Higher overalls. Gardner Johnson's back. Jack Campbell's a superstar. Branch is a superstar. We got two new insane corners. Jerry Jacobs takes CB3. I think we got to win at least two Super Bowls in 10 years. Hopefully three, if not more. Year two. Let's see what we can do. Well, in year two, we finish with the exact same record, except we don't make the playoffs. And the NFC North is tough. Bears are 8-9. Vikings are 10-7. and seven. Dobbs is a stud, I guess. And then 13-4 and four Packers. Packers are looking like they're going to continue to be a problem for us. In this upcoming draft, we're going to be looking for a linebacker. I want to get Anzalone replaced. So maybe first round, we take a linebacker or a guard. Second round, we take whatever we didn't get in the first. I'll be in roughly the same spot, drafting at 18, 19, 20, somewhere around there. There's Carl Sellers out of Georgia. There's Austin Folk out of UCF. There's not much in the linebacker department in this draft class. Jared Goff had a almost the same season he had last year. Jameer Gibbs does eclipse a thousand. Let's get it, baby. Love seeing that. Love seeing the four digits instead of three. And Amara leads the team. This is kind of what I was expecting. They got the same receptions. Amara with 14 touchdowns. Huge season for him. DPJ, another solid season. JMO, another solid season. Uh, defensively, anything different? Anzalone. Am I missing something? Where's Jack Campbell? The, the depth chart must have gotten reordered somehow because Jack Campbell, I didn't mess with it though. Hutch had nine sacks. Anzalone had three and a half. Three for Odafe Owe. Luke Harrison only had two. He had 14 TFLs, which is nice. I do not understand how Jack Campbell got phased out. Here's how we're looking at the end of year two. Gibbs is a 91 overall. Goff's an 85. Aminra is a 95. DBJ and JMO are getting much better. We still got a really good wide receiver room. Haley Decker's getting old, man. We're going to have to start working on this offensive line. Glasgow's getting worse. Sewell's getting better, of course. Ragnall's getting better. Jonah Jackson's floating. Laporte is up to a big 90. And then defensively, I knew this guy was a dog, but I didn't know he was like that. Trent Sampson was a superstar X Factor. He's up to an 86 overall already. Oh my God, this guy's the best. This guy's actually the best. Let's go. That's truly one of the best. That's one of the best picks I've ever made. Trent Sampson, superstar X Factor. Carothers was star. Owe gets a dev trait upgrade. So does Hutch. And so does Kirby Joseph. Ooh, dude, we have a safety conundrum, man. Do we trade one of these safeties? What are we, what are we doing here? Do I keep all of them and keep Kirby Joseph as my sub linebacker and just have like a monster sub linebacker? Anzalone does get star dev now. I still need another D tackle too because this guy sucks. I might keep Kirby Joseph just for sub linebacker. Shit, I'm liking this. Raiders win the Super Bowl. Nelson Porter's offensive rookie of the year and Kyle Radovich is defensive rookie of the year. No awards for us here, but... To go 9-8 and eight twice is interesting, but this team is getting so much better. I don't really care. Since I don't need anything so desperately, there's no need to trade up. Although this guy doesn't look that bad. Lance Tyler. He actually looks really good. I just don't think I should use a round one pick on him. He's projected day three. He actually looks really good, though. Elite Excel, great speed. 
Great jumping, elite change direction. Okay, well, let's pick up Lance Tyler in the second round. But for this round, let's get our third corner. We're gonna take our third corner. Jerry Jacobs walks. We need another corner. He is hidden dev. He's not as impressive as Trent Sampson, the rest of those guys. 90 speed. It's a hidden dev. It's a hidden dev. So Lance Tyler, he's still in there. Low key, dude, I, I might be able to get him with my third round pick, but I don't want to be that aggressive. I'm just gonna do it right now. He looks too good. So this guy is deep in here, but look at these physicals. He has one, he has two goods, two greats, two elites, A pursuit, B block shed. Is he normal dev? Fuck. All right, we just gotta hope he's good overall. We just gotta hope he's good overall. He's 22. That's the, that's, that's why. Um, I will take the next pick because I, I do think I want to try and find a good guard, if not a D tackle. Clock's ticking on me here. It's our third round pick. I need a right guard. Oh. That's actually a shock to me. I thought for sure this would be normal dev. This guy was not impressive. I thought that linebacker be hidden dev and this guy be normal. With my round four pick here, I'm going to take a D tackle. Hopefully get a, a second D tackle. I'm not going to overthink this. I'm taking Quincy Snell. D tackle. Fucking hidden dev. Let's go. Let's go. 87 strength, 80 speed, 82. That is a very fast D tackle. Dude, when you, the, the, that little hit of dopamine when you see the blue hidden dev. Oh. Feels so good. Year two, draft three, cap. Hey, super solid. No crazy 81s, but Jeff Hayden's a 78. Jeff Hayden was a great pick. I was a little nervous about him. I thought he'd be worse. 90 speed, 93 excel. He must have other good stats because he's a 78. Left outside linebacker, Lance Taylor. Yeah, so he's normal dev, but he's a 75 overall. Matt locked a right guard. Hidden dev and a 75. Definitely an instant starter. Snell is only a 71. That's not too impressive. And then the computer takes Turner, takes a 71 overall wide receiver, and they take Corin Thomas, a halfback. So can't be mad about that. Let's see how the whole league did best player in the class is an 82 corner with 96 speed vernon day next up was a wide receiver right guard wide receiver center lance tyler kind of open you are coverage of some variety hey wait that's fucking huge he's a run stopper than pass coverage so he's not a rusher this is perfect this is exactly what i needed here so glasgow can come out for our new right guard wade matlock and then at corner it's don gardner coming out for Jeff Hayden. I mean, look at these corners, man. They're young. They're getting so much better. And Trent Stamps is already a superstar X Factor. That's insanity. Year three Lions. New right guard. Three superstars on offense. Got a new backup T tackle. And then Jeff Hayden. I'm cor I'm corners heavy. And then, of course, Lance Tyler. Normal dev, but hoping he can have a good season. No need to make any trades, do anything crazy right now. I think year three is just going to be a great year. We're just uh, slowly improving here. Ooh. Look at the year three squad. Absolutely dominant for the Detroit Lions. We're 12 and 5. Dominated the NFC North. Everybody fell off. And we're taking on the Eagles here. Eagles is not the team I want to be playing right now. Jared Goff, second in the league in passing yards. So Mahomes gets first, 47 and 5. But look at fucking Goff, 47 and 10. <laughs> Jared Goff is cooking. It's not MVP. Mahomes got a 5,000, fucking 5,000 yard season. I'm 47 and 5. That's insane. Uh, let's pop back over to the Lions where Jameer has 1,060 and 7. Uh, we must have just been throwing the ball like fucking crazy. 1,519 for Amonra. That could be an offensive player of the year stat line. Laporta, 1,014. Defensively, Brian Branch leads the team in tackles. Then it's Jack Campbell. That is Jeff Hayden, our newest corner. Two interceptions for Branch, one for Jack, two for Hayden. Not bad. Gardner Johnson had one. Carithers had one. Lance Tyler had an interception. 12 sacks for Hutch, six for Luke Harrison, five for Odafe Owe, and four for the rookie Lance Tyler. He had four sacks and an interception. Is that, is that defensive rookie of the year worthy? Probably not. I'm sure somebody did more than that. I'm in a St. Brown offensive player of the year. Awesome. Defensive player of the year, Hutch was fourth. Offensive rookie of the year, not even... In the equation, we shouldn't have been. I didn't draft anybody. Defensive rookie of the year, Jeff Hayden was sixth. Lance Tyler was eighth. If we make it past this wild card, I'd like to step in and see what the divisional looks like in year three here. 12 and five. See, I knew, dude, going up against the Eagles is tough. Even if though they're nine and eight, they already won a Super Bowl in this franchise and we lose another wild card playoff game here in year three. But this team is getting so much better so fast. It doesn't really matter. I think we will make a free agency move. We will make a free agency move here. An interesting year in the league. The Ravens and the Falcons square off in the Super Bowl. Ravens get a dub by a single point. Rishi Rice is offensive player of the year. Rishi Rice is going off. Definitely got some upgrades though. Looks like Amonor is about to be a 98 overall. My goodness. We have 58 mil in cap 
Free agency is weak as hell. Oh my God. Only thing I'm going to pick up here is Cameron Dicker. I want a slightly better kicker. It's actually, it's, it's really nice to have a good kicker. Try and get him for four years. Our team is so deep that I'm thinking I might, oh my God. Laporta, Matlock, whoa. Matlock is superstar. Holy shit. Laporta's X Factor, Amonra's X Factor. Jared Goff is superstar now. And when did we get Evan McPherson? What just happened to my team? When did we get Evan McPherson? I think the computer picked me up Evan McPherson, which is absolutely insane. So I did not need to sign Cameron Dicker. Fucking Jeff Hayden! Is this a dev trade upgrade or is this what you had? Dude, this trap, my draft class is too good. Dude, I have it only on strong. We're just getting absurdly lucky. Offensive line's looking absolutely stunning now. Gibbs is a 94. Still star, though. I'd have to change my scheme if I wanted to give him a dev trade upgrade. Hutch goes up to X Factor. Tyler goes to star. Kirby Joseph's a fucking X Factor. Dude, I gotta trade CJ Gardner Johnson. I can't have my X Factor free safety not starting. Or do I just keep CJ Gardner Johnson at depth? Look at how good this defense got in just three years. This defense is absurd. I don't even know what to do with my pick here. Okay, so Chargers have round one pick seven. Let's try and get that off of them and take that stud wide receiver. See if we can give Jared Goff another monster here. I'd give up my round one pick 24 and um, maybe DPJ. So we move up to round one pick seven. We lose a fourth and Donovan Peoples-Jones and I'm taking a wide receiver with this pick. I'm just gonna take the best wide receiver in there. Look at all three of these quarterbacks look nasty. Dominique Younger, Miguel Colon, and Max Blonde. Okay, yeah, you know what? We're going to take Goss replacement right now. Elite, this guy's good. A ton of greats, only one good, and that's in speed. I'm taking Max Blonde out of California. Max Blonde out of California. Is this the future of the Detroit Lions franchise? A scrambler quarterback. Hidden dev. 83 speed, 92 power. He's fast. This motherfucker's fast. Can you throw the ball, But Dude, Jared Goff was taking off and running a lot. That may be the future of the Lions. It's still Jared Goff's team. I still gotta get a wide receiver. I just didn't need to take one in that first round. Yancey's slow. Good skills, but he's slow. I don't know how much him being slow matters. Here's a USF wide receiver, Alex Callaway. Not really sure how I feel about any of these wide receivers, but I'm gonna take Andrew Yancey, the 6'5 Georgia wide receiver. Tate. He's bald as shit. He looks like he's 40, but that's a 22-year-old. He's been getting into bars since he was 11. So he is slow. He has 89 speed, 87 Excel. This is a weird wide receiver, but he's huge. He's 6'5". Got a little Megatron. So we trade away Donovan Peoples-Jones. We end up getting a potential franchise quarterback, and we still got a, a usable wide receiver. I'm going to end this draft. I, I feel good about it. Hopefully, we got what we need. I just need to hope that Max Blond is... I'm hoping he's at least a 75 overall. Draft free cap! Draft free cap! Draft free cap! Ah! Okay, Yancey's good. Yancey's a 74. Blonde is only a 73. I guess, I mean, it is hard for quarterback, but I was definitely expecting him to be higher. Round one pick seven. He's fast. He's a good quarterback. He's just a low overall, very low awareness. Martez Bush got a little, an, another free safety. Dude, we are just a safety team. Goodness. And then CPU, seems like CPU kind of whiffed down there, but that's all right. Yancey being a 74 makes me happy. So Max Blonde will be our backup quarterback now. And then at wide receiver, since we traded away Donovan Peoples-Jones... We're going to take Andrew Yancey, and we are going to move him to wide receiver three. JMO's at wide receiver two. Amira is at wide receiver one. He's a 98 overall. Here's your Lions roster going into year four. Two superstar X-Factors, three more superstars. Got our new hidden dev quarterback, Max Blonde. We got Andrew Yancey, the new wide receiver. And defensively, no adjustments, but you'll notice there's a fucking absurd amount of superstar X-Factors back here. Kirby Joseph, Sampson, Hutchinson, Hayden. We drafted corners so unbelievably well. Let's go right back to the playoffs, baby. Come on. Well, we're gonna have a rematch against the Eagles in year four, but this time we're nine and eight. NFC North was crazy. Nine and eight, eight and nine, eight and nine, seven and 10. We do make the playoffs though. Looks like Jared Goff gets second in the league in passing yards again. So Goff, 36 and 13. Jameer Gibbs, 1,110. Receiving. Aminra, another amazing season. 800 for Laporta. Yancey, 864, only two touchdowns. Not going to win him Offensive Rookie of the Year, but a solid season. Defensively, Jack Campbell, Jeff Hayden, Brian Branch, Kirby Joseph. Four interceptions, Jack Campbell. Three Kirby, three CJ. One for Jeff Hayden, one for Carithers. 15 sacks out of Big Hutchinson. That's his best season by far. Luke Harrison had a good season with eight. Odafe Owe continues to be the fleece of the century with seven. Uh, Marshall Kellum. Why is that not Yancey? Marshall Kellum gets two and a half sacks. Did I lose Quincy Snell? Luke Harrison and then Quincy Snell. Is it my rush D tackle backup? Yeah, that's why. He's my backup rush D tackle. Let's step in and have some fun with this lineup, dude. Amonra's a 99 now. We got JMO and then Yancey ended up being star. Max Blonde, we still don't know about his dev trait since he hasn't gotten any reps yet, but Goff is a superstar. And defensively, this team is just disgusting. 
Let's go play with this lineup. We're 94 overall. That's insane. Let's have some fun. Let's play a little bit of this, uh, play a little bit of this wild card playoff. Wild card playoff. We're gonna play some of these moments here. I don't wanna drastically impact the outcome of this game, but let's have some fun. They want me to come in on third and 10 and make a stop. Definitely need Hutchinson coming off the edge. Same with Odafe Owe. Yeah, our big boys are coming off the edge. We got Jack Campbell in the middle. Let's see what we got here, gentlemen. He's got a wide open. AJ Brown is what he's got. Kirby Joseph, I think, right there. Jack Campbell. And the sweet puts me right back. They made that easy. Lions score. And they're having me take over in the red zone. First and 10. Let's go. All right. I'm thinking this is man coverage. Dude, we have so many studs. Laporta, Aminra. Oh, it's not. It's a zone. Aminra's covered. Jamison Williams is manned up. You can't man him up. He's too fast. Oh, Jamo. Let's go, baby. All right. I think I've played enough. I'm going to jump to the end of the game. Let's see if we hold on to this lead. It's 10 to 14, 21 to 10, 28 to 10. Looks like the Lions are going to walk home with this one. 31 to 17. Hey, I definitely impacted that game, but we win by 14 there. Jameer, 73 yards on the ground, 4.8 yards per carry. JMO, Yancey, Laporta. I'm in a very even game for the boys. Two touchdowns, Laporta. Divisional against the San Fran 49ers. I'm just going to send this one. We're 9 and 8. They're 11 and 6, but we did just smack the Eagles. Ooh, 45 to 17. Are the 9 and 8 Lions really going to pull this off? We barely made the playoffs. We're good. I mean, we're really good right now, though. Uh, I'm going to send this to the Super Bowl. If we make the Super Bowl, we'll watch the game for sure. Oh my God. Detroit Lions. We just beat, how much did we beat them by? Smack the fucking Cowboys. 45 to 17 Niners, 42 to 17 Cowboys. And we meet up with the Chiefs in the Super Bowl. Of course we do. They barely got past the defending champs, the Ravens. Four seed taking on a three seed in the Super Bowl. Holy shit. Jared Goff is it? I never thought I'd see the day. Max Blonde is going to be waiting on that bench a long, long time. But I'm glad we have him. Gibbs is up to a 97. Yancey, J-Mo, Laporta. Then defensively, we get a dev trade upgrade for CJ Gardner-Johnson. And I think he's the only one. No, Odafe, fuck. I cannot believe we fleece the Ravens like this, man. We really fleece the Ravens like this for David Montgomery. All right, y'all. Super Bowl here against the Kansas City Chiefs. We click play full game, and then I just watch, right? Their top three, Mahomes, Chris Jones, and Pacheco. We got Aminra Hutch and Sam Laporta. Detroit Lions taking on the Kansas City Chiefs. Let's sim this to halftime, then let's check in. Lions score first. It's seven to seven. Oh, we got stuffed on the goal line. It's still seven to seven. It's still seven to seven. 14 7, 14 14, 21 14, 28 14. Ooh, let's check in. Chiefs are kind of handing it to us right now. 28 14, laser over the middle. The Super Bowl's not looking good for us, though. I don't, I don't, we're going to have to force a stop. Oh my God, broke that tackle and a horse collar. Second and six, they go pitch Pacheco. I don't know why Odafe Owe was in coverage there. He should always be coming off that edge. That's all she wrote in Super Bowl 30 to 21. It's hard to get past the Chiefs, man. It is. Not a bad game by any means. Mahomes had five passing touchdowns, though. We had three and one interception. That'll do it. Two touchdowns, 150 yards for Rice. One for Jamo, one for Yancey, one for Laporta. Tough. Hey, we made it to the Super Bowl. I can't be mad about that, right? What I'm struggling with, honestly, is how do I make this team better? Look at how good this team is, man. Like, what do I got to do to make it so we win that Super Bowl next time instead of falling short? Maybe a superstar X-Factor D-Tech. That's the only thing I can think of. Getting some serious, crazy heat right here where Luke Harrison is. I don't think we need any more offensive firepower other than, no. We really don't need any more offensive firepower. I think we make a, I'm gonna make a massive trade here. I don't think I need this draft pick that bad. It's about the only thing I can think of right now that's gonna like drastically improve this team because this team's fucking disgusting. Look at this dude, Josh Villa. This guy's insane. He's 23 is a 93 overall. What's it gonna cost, Falcons? What's it gonna cost? I'm throwing in Luke Harrison. Round one, pick 31. That ain't worth much. I'm gonna give up round one and round two. And round three, I'm kind of going to nuke my draft this year. Honestly, trading in this game is so easy that I, like, I almost prefer to highball because it's more realistic. I'm trading away my young D-tackle for an even younger D-tackle who is superstar X-Factor 92 overall. Cost me my first, second, and third this year. All right, y'all, I'm actually going to sim this year's draft. I don't have a first, second, or a third. Is that really that aggressive of a trade? To get a 92 superstar X-Factor 93 overall, I feel like should cost them. Coach got us a 71 tight end, a 71 center. Not bad. I think we made the right decision. I just think I traded away too much for that decision. I think this should be our best year. Especially because, dude, we went 9 and 8. So not only is our team a fucking 94 overall, but we're going to have a pretty easy schedule next year. Year 5 Detroit Lions are 94 overall. CJ Gardner-Johnson walks in free agency. I can't say I'm that shocked. 
he was so good, he kind of like needed to be on a team that was really going to fully utilize him. Year five, I think this could be our best season yet. Undoubtedly our best season. Look at this, 14 and three, number one offense in the league. The squad has super high morale. This could definitely be a Super Bowl year for us. We've got to buy Jared Goff, number one in passing yards. Does he win MVP? It's going to go to Jalen Hurts or Mahomes or Purdy. Crazy. I'm in row with Offensive Player of the Year, 42 and 10, 4,805 yards. So leads the league. Jameer Gibbs, 1,300 yards, 21 touchdowns. Holy shit. 1,500 out of Aminra and 20. Oh my God. 1,312 out of Laporta and Jamo didn't score a single touchdown. That's crazy. Campbell way up there in tackles. Six TFLs, 18 for Owe. 13 sacks Hutchinson, nine for Owe. Six for Josh Bell. I expected a little more out of him, low key. Still had 17 TFLs, six sacks, but I, I thought he'd be a, a bit more impactful. In the divisional, we're taking on the nine and eight Panthers. So Derek Brown's their best player. Then Brian Burns, Bryce Young. I imagine this is a pretty free W. It was. And now we take on the 9-8 and eight San Fran. We have a 99 offense right now. Brock Purdy was up there in the MVP voting, but I imagine we go to the Super Bowl here. Okay, so we definitely made it past the Niners. It's kind of a close game. 31-21. Not too close, but a dub. We're taking on the Jaguars, who are the two seed, and they're 13-4. and four. We have a significant overall advantage. What's this Jaguars roster look like? Are we finally going to get our first Super Bowl here at the end of year five? Or is it the end of year six? My mind's starting to go blank. Andre Sisko is a 99. T-Law's a 99. ETN's a 99. Stephen Washington, wide receiver, is a 99. Josh Allen, Tyson Campbell, Trayvon, Devin Lloyd, Evan Engram, Calvin O'Neal, Brandon Fulton. And then here's your Lions. We have one, two, three, four, five, six, 99s. Oh my God. 98 overall Lions taking on the 92 Jaguars, that top three. It's got a rookie in there. I love that. Or not a rookie, but an auto-generated. We're back in the Super Bowl, baby. We're looking for redemption. Looks like we got to stop on the Jaguars, and I want to step in here and play a little bit of offense. Let's kick this drive off with a little play action, and I'm going to throw a hospital pass. Oh, Jared Goff's got to step up. There's a QB spy on him, and that's a face mask. What are you doing, Devin Lloyd? Look at Amon St. Brown. Beautiful dig. Let's take advantage of Jameer Gibbs' superstar. I just noticed that Jameer Gibbs' is superstar, and he's got some crazy speed on him. Jameer's going to take 16 yards on his first touch. Let's go. Going to run play action here. I'm looking for... Oh, we think Aminra can do that? What a ball. What a ball. Yancey is... Yancey's the only guy I trust that's in right now. Let's see if he clears. Oh, he will. He will. Yancey clears. Why did you... Guys, I promise you I meant to dive. I'm just going to watch as we punch this one in, yeah? First points of the bowl coming in the second quarter. Amazing blocks in Jameer Gibbs. Huge start to this game. Jaguars march down and score one of their own. Lions punt. Jaguars are marching again. 7-7. Seven to seven. Jaguars are in the red zone. They could take a lead here, and there's not a lot of clock left. Let's see what they do. T-Law drops back. Unloads low. He's in. Oh, you can't make that. T-Law drops back and throws an interception right to Trent Sampson. What are you doing? Oh, wait. Aminra is so open. What a ball. Is that going to go end zone? Do I risk it? No. That's a huge play. And the sun god, McPherson, will come out and drill this. Put three up right before half. This is a really good game. Let's go, baby. We'll let the boys play the third quarter here. Huge touchdown. 20 to 7. Oh, we might, we might have just ended the game. 20 to 7. T Law's taking over the Super Bowl. This could be our first ring. Second and 10. Laser over the middle. They got to call the timeout, though. Yeah, clock is not on their side here. Hand off to ETN. Can we break it up? Oh, they run it. Wow, Lions were not ready for that, and I wasn't either. Play action. He's. <gasps> Another interception. Oh, my God. It's the back of free safety. That's who came in. For C.J. Gardner-Johnson when he walked in free agency. And Jared Goff's going to come out here in victory formation. Super Bowl! Show me my confetti. Don't glitch out. Hey! Dude, they're trotting the trophy out and they're trying to get me to call a play. I hate this glitch. I just want my confetti. That's my source Super Bowl. Don't do me like this. What if I put it on fast and I sim it to the end of the game? What happens? I've seen this glitch before. When I quit the game, now we'll have the win. First Super Bowl ring. 20 to 7, Super Bowl 62. Super Bowl MVP is Trent Sampson. Dude, that makes me so happy. We traded up for that man. And now he's Super Bowl MVP. 20 to 7 against the Jaguars. Taylor Decker does retire. That CPU drafted me Schwartz, that center, who was uh who was star dev. So we can move him to left tackle right now. We really 
you really don't even need a draft to fix that. That's pretty good. I think at some point here, we should try to draft another superstar wide receiver. I'm geeked about you, Jameer. Jameer finally caught superstar. He's a 99 overall. Defensively, so far, we've maintained everyone except, I'm trying to remember his name, but it was North Theris. That was our third corner. He walks in free agency. We couldn't afford to pay him. So we still have Kirby Joseph. We still have Brian Branch. We still got Hayden, Away, Villa, Hutchinson, Snell. Still got our core linebackers. Tyler's looking good. Jack Campbell's looking good. But we need another corner. So in this upcoming draft, we got to just draft another corner, baby. We've been drafting a lot of corners. And we've been drafting corners well. I am not nervous about that at all. I'm going to take Jaden Pierman. Let's see what's up. Oh. Wow, I have been so hot on corners, and I finally took a big whiff here. Let's take a shot here on Brandon McKenzie. Oh, my God. I saw the two elites in the physicals. I'm getting smoked right now. Draft recap, baby. This Oh, see, so we got good overalls. He's a 76 overall corner. That's really good. 74 overall McKenzie's okay. 92 speed, 94 excel. Got Mark Haynes, a middle linebacker. 73 overall. That's a huge pickup. Your year six and defending Super Bowl champion, Detroit Lions. Jared Goff is looking unbelievably good right now. I, when's he going to retire? 33 years old, 12 years in the league. He wants to keep, man, we can Tom Brady this, man. I may, I may never need Max Blonde. Another monster season for the Lions here 13 and 4 dude like when you see these colors look at these colors like looking at my defense and seeing this much red is so absurd Mahomes is first golf is second Resaw leads the league in rushing yards Jameer Gibbs with 1,229 and 14 touchdowns Amra St. Bound third in the league with wow 18 touchdowns 1,387 yards Sam Laporta 920 and 7 it's an all right season honestly nothing too crazy defensively we have 13 sacks out of Odafe oh wait he took over Hutch Hutch at 10 8 out of Villa 4 out of Snell 3 out of Emrod 2 and a half out of Jack Campbell Taking on the 10 and 7 Chicago Bears. <laughs> We're taking on a division rival in the divisional. I love that. Oh my God, we lost. Yo. Fields had three touchdowns, no interceptions. Yo, we got cooked. DJ Moore cooked us. I saw we go for a little back to back there. Damn, we went to the Super Bowl two years in a row. And then in this third year here, with virtually the same team, we get booted in the divisional. Well, the Bears went all the way to the Super Bowl. They got beat by the Ravens. We won Coach of the Year. Dan Campbell gets Coach of the Year. Can't argue with that. We built this team so well without free agency that I've kind of been staying away from it. Taking a peek here. I'm going to try and pick up Anton Harrison. Does not look like he wants to play for us, but money talks, baby. Oh, just kidding. I don't have the cap. Shit, I'm broke. Never mind. Just hanging on to our team. I can't afford anybody. I have one mil available in cap space. No, I knew this was going to happen. No, is our dynasty over, bro? Did I lose anybody in free agency? I don't think so. Okay, we lost Quincy Snell in free agency. That's it, though. Okay, the computer picked me up a superstar corner. Hell yeah, I'm moving your ass up in the depth chart, buddy. Do I move on from Jared Goff right now and, like, fully get ready to rebuild, rebuild? Dude, I think I'm gonna do it. Salary cap's crazy. I, I gotta unload somebody's contract, and I know Jared Goff. It's cost me a lot of money right now. Why do I suck at fucking trading? Holy shit. I could have gotten so much more out of that, couldn't I? I need to stop trade. I need to put in five first round picks and then hit the button. So Max Blonde has been patiently waiting. He's also out of Cal. So Jared Goff trained him up nicely. He has three years in the league. He's never really seen the field, but he's an 80 overall. He's star and he's finally ready to take over this team. I might end up grabbing him a wide receiver with round one pick five. Round one pick five and round one pick 27. I could get the Hawaii quarterback, Kyle LeBlanc. Elite speed, elite change of direction, elite agility, elite accelerator. This, this guy's faster than fuck. Oh my God, do I replace Max Blonde? Fuck it. I traded Jared Goff for round one pick five. I'm taking this motherfucker. Oh my God. It's Michael Vick's golden child. The Hawaii quarterback has 99 fucking speed. Dude, I'm about to change my whole offense. Do we just do we just rock Baltimore Ravens offense and let this guy fucking cook? Oh my God, he's insane. I'm about to trade away this pick just to get some shit. Look at this. The Texans, for my round one pick, the Texans are going to give me a first, second, and a fourth next year. I'm going to take that, and I'm going to use their first, second, and a fourth to make a monster trade for a wide receiver. Kyle LeBlanc is a 79 overall with 99 speed, 95 acceleration, 96 agility. Are you out of your mind, man? This guy's insane. Looks like Chuck Grant. We get a 75 overall right hand hidden dev out of OK State in the second round. 73 overall D tackle in the fourth round. We are just cooking. We got four picks from the Texans for trading down, which is a ton. I'm just low on cap room. Cost an arm and a leg, but JMO, two firsts, a second, a third, and a fourth. For the 88 overall superstar X Factor 22 year old Deontay McKenzie. All right, for the first time, we are switching up the offensive playbook. We're switching it to Baltimore. We're going to try and emulate what Lamar Jackson's been doing. He's won MVP in this league a 
couple times now, and the Ravens have two Super Bowls. So, Kyle LeBlanc, it's your team now. Here's your year seven. Detroit Lions, Jared Goff is gone. We're gonna be running the ball down their throat. Jameer Gibbs, 99 overall. I'm really interested to see how this season goes. Now, I know my team is a 99 overall, but something tells me that Kyle LeBlanc cooked. We're 12 and five. We're playing in the wild card against the Commanders. Dude, let's take a look at this line. Oh, Kyle LeBlanc, I knew it. This guy was too good. So, I have never drafted so many superstar X Factors, bro. Currently rocking a 91 overall. Started the season at 79. He has 99 speed, 95 acceleration. This guy's a fucking animal. He's 20th in the league in passing yards, but that was kind of to be expected. Whoa, 33 and nine. That's a very good ratio for his rookie year. He had to have run. Had to have won rookie of the year. He had 700 rushing yards and six touchdowns. I like that. Still 1,414. Deontay McKenzie, really good season. 16 touchdowns. Laporta and then Aminra. Sees a regression, but we did that on purpose. We're starting to fade him out. So we had 181 carries with Kyle LeBlanc. Honestly, expected him to do a little bit more on the ground. I'm not going to lie. Kyle LeBlanc, the clear offensive rookie of the year. I'm going to play a moment in this game because I really want to use Kyle LeBlanc. So here's the wild card taking out the commanders. They got Adam Taylor, Vanguard tight end, Terry McLaurin, Jonathan Allen. They're 92 overall. We are a literal 99. Third and seven, Kyle LeBlanc, what are you made of? We see a blitz off the left side. Kyle LeBlanc is too fucking fast. Oh my God, I can't even believe I got caught. Third and five, yup. Deontay McKenzie, great ball, great catch. McKenzie, a juke, another, and he's in. Oh my God, Deontay McKenzie. Hey, we gave up so much for him. Jamison Williams and a ton of picks. It's 14 to zero. It's 14 to seven. Actually, you know what? Let's go one more. Third and four. I want to get in my time with Kyle LeBlanc, bro. This guy is so sick. How often do you get to use a 99 speed quarterback? Oh my God. This is so awesome. Second and inches. There better be a QB spy on me. There is. We'll throw a laser. This guy doesn't even have a name. That was so weird. But McKenzie was glitched out. It didn't put his name under him. That was Deontay McKenzie though, I think. You're going to bite on that? Against the fastest quarterback in the league, Kyle LeBlanc. Kyle LeBlanc. Oh my God, this guy's insane. Holy shit, I'm so glad we drafted this guy, bro. Let's let's put this game away here. 45 to 10. Dude, is Kyle LeBlanc going to win a Super Bowl in his first year? Taking on the Seahawks here. 10 and 7. W, 17 to 10. NFC Championship against the Falcons. I'm going to sim this. If it gets close, let's watch. We're at 99 overall, man. They still got Bijan and Kyle Pitts and Lindstrom. Opening drive, Falcons score. Lions score right back. Falcons score right back. 14 to 14. Jeez, they're scoring so fast. It's 21 to 7. It's 24 to 21. Wait a minute. We got to watch. Let's clock in. Desmond Ritter is at least superstar. Gonna go play action there. Hucks it deep. Wow. Broken cover. Lions score right back. 31 to 28. Even if they don't convert here, it's not ball game, but... Ritter throws over the middle. He caught that. Does he check down to Bijan? Because he's there. Ritter. Ritter's going to take off. He does get it. Oh, my goodness. This man. Ritter running out of time. Connects. He's going to drop back. Desmond Ritter's going to throw to no man's land. We go to the Super Bowl if we win this. No way. Oh, my my god second and 10 see we run the ball a lot now because we're baltimore so we don't have that crazy pass offense that we used to have and kyle leblanc makes a huge throw right there i was about to say this guy can't throw it like golf either but you know what he makes a great throw right there first and 10 field goal does nothing for us we got to go end zone leblanc unloads right Ugh, i don't know about that though third and seven he uncorks it oh that's a crucial drop and i'm gonna be honest i don't know who just dropped that but that's ball game. 31 to 35 in the NFC Championship. Arthur Smith's going to take this one home. Oh my God. We lost Aiden Hutchinson in free agency. We have another superstar X Factor D tackle, Brian Quinn. What is with this game? Ooh, I did trade this pick, actually. I don't have any picks. But yeah, I have no picks here. Yikes. I got to hope he's hidden, Ev. He is. <laughs> Let's go, Tim. Let's go, Tim. Just going to send it to the end here. Don't got to do anything fancy. Little draft recap. Looks like man was a 71 overall. We did get Will McDaniels as halfback. This will be a nice backup halfback. He's hidden dev too. Rookie at Louisville. Yes, that's actually really, that is what we needed. Trying to get Jaden Perriman from the Bengals. 91 left tackle. It took a lot, bro. It took an X-Factor D tackle. A first, second, third, and fourth. Chill out. Here's your new look, Lions. Need another amazing season out of Kyle LeBlanc. Defensively, we'll be looking to do the same stuff we've always been doing, man. Just cook. Not the best season here. Nine and eight. But we still made the playoffs. We're, we're very consistently making the playoffs. 3,535 passing yards for LeBlanc. Rushing. Did he improve? He did. 
878, up the yards per carry, and Gibbs had another good season. Deontay, 1,012. Yeah, I don't know, man. I think that Dallas Cowboys defense is just so OP. Villa had 10 and a half. Owe had nine. Dude, no more Aiden Hutchinson's crazy. We couldn't afford him. That's a W against the Giants, baby. Now the divisional. Do we get through the Rams? Oh my God, we're in the NFC chip versus the Packers. Do we make it? No, we're not making it to the Super Bowl. NFC chip versus the Packers. Come on. Oh, we made it to the Super Bowl, and we're taking on the fucking Steelers? Let's go, LeBlanc. Kyle LeBlanc. Wow, I can't believe he just did that. Taking on the 11 and 6 Steelers in the Super Bowl. What's this Steelers roster looking up? By the way, here's the Lions. We have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 99s. Holy shit. Steelers got Pickens and Gabriel Sims, a left end. Porter Jr., Minka. We're chilling. All right, y'all. Let's see what we can do. All right. Steelers start with a touchdown. Lions respond. It's 7 to 7. It's 14 to 7. It's 14 to 10. 21 to 10. Am I, we're going to win the bowl? <laughs> with LeBlanc. Let's see it, LeBlanc. You can throw now, but you can take off too. I'm trying to juke in the open field, you sketch ball. I fuck with it. Another option play. LeBlanc. Dude, get the fuck out of here. We're milking this clock. The action. I thought the option. All that running the ball is freeing up Deontay McKenzie. Third and five. Pass to Jameer. Dropped. Are we bringing out the unit? 24. That's not as healthy of a lead. I don't like that as much. McPherson. Oh, it's not McPherson. That's our, our punter. Our punter's our kicker right now. We don't have McPherson anymore. And the Super Bowl ends 17 to 24. Steelers were able to score, but it used all their timeouts and victory formation. Ices it up for the Lions. Odafe Owe, second touchdown as a Lion. Same for Laporta, Jameer Gibbs, Kyle LeBlanc, the, the sophomore. He's got to be Super Bowl MVP. He had three touchdowns, a ton of rushing yards. Super Bowl 65 goes to the Lions, baby. My bad, boys. This is year nine. I accidentally hit Sim to next season instead of Sim to draft. Shit. Oh, I don't get to see the draft overview. The entire offense is retained. LeBlanc's looking good. We've got some depth at running back. Still got Yancey, McKenzie, and Aminra. Well, okay, we retained everybody. Okay, awesome. That, that could have been a lot worse, but it wasn't. Uh, I just don't get to see the recap on the rookies, unfortunately. I apologize, boys. I, I fumbled the bag there. Hey, year nine. We went nine and eight, so this schedule should be pretty easy for us. It's all about Kyle LeBlanc, baby. Kyle LeBlanc is now a true 98 overall scrambler in only two years in the league. His accuracies are already immaculate. He doesn't have deep accuracy, but Raven's playbook doesn't really throw deep. Hey, now it's just it's just coasting now. We are literally just we're coasting. We're that good. 13 and 4 season. 28 and 1 is an insane, insane stat line for LeBlanc. Jameer Gibbs, 1,200. LeBlanc almost had 1,000 rushing yards this season. Nine touchdowns. McKenzie, another great season. Decent for Amon Run. Laporta, they're probably upset about the, the scheme changes around here, but taking on the New Orleans Saints here, they got a 99 overall superstar X Factor, Chris Olave. Do we get through the Saints? Oh, dude, we can't back to back it. The game won't let me back to back it. Darn it. Gonna sim this straight to the draft. We have negative 10 million cap space, so I, I can't sign anybody in free agency. Well, something had to budge, and what budged was Jameer Gibbs. Gibbs. We could not afford to pay him. Our current running back right now is Will McDaniels, which is the rookie we drafted. He's no Jameer Gibbs. We kind of knew that was going to happen. We just don't have the money to be paying all these guys. And Odafe Owe retired. That's actually a huge blow to us going into this final year right here. Samson has six upgrades available, and I don't think we can spend it. We can't. Samson is too good. You can't upgrade him anymore. That's crazy. Oh, we don't even have the first. We don't even have our first round pick here. I ain't getting... I'm not getting anything usable here. I have negative 47.3 million in cap. How is that even possible? I don't even have a first round pick in this draft. I'm simming it. All right, gentlemen, take a look at your year 10 Detroit Lions. Who have we retained and who is all brand new? Let's find out. Kyle LeBlanc. For those of you who just skipped to the end of the video, we had a quarterback. His name was Max Blonde. He was an 80 overall and he was getting ready to take over for Jared Goff, who he had just traded. I saw a quarterback available in that upcoming draft class. He had a Elite speed, elite acceleration, elite agility. And I said, this guy looks pretty fast. Why don't we take a shot on him? 99 speed out the gates, Kyle LeBlanc. And it changed everything for this team. We switched our scheme. We went Baltimore Ravens. It was time to run the ball with the quarterback. This guy's out of Hawaii. In his first year, he goes to the playoffs and loses in the NFC Championship. In his second year, he won a Super Bowl. And this is his fourth year technically now. We're going to see what he can cook up. Deontay McKenzie, we traded for him. He's now a hard 99, and he's amazing. But Amonrell, Superstar X Factor, still with the Lions. Laporta, 98, still with the Lions. Panay Sewell, 97, still with the Lions. And the rest of our O-line is fully revamped. Defensively, Kirby Joseph, 98 overall, Superstar X Factor. Definitely the standout wildcard player. 
player of this team. Did not expect him to be so good, but he's been amazing. Jack Campbell has held it down in the middle all these years. Brian Branch is a 99. My safeties have been amazing. In the first two seasons, we drafted some insane corners. Trent Sampson being the first one. Jeff Hayden being the next. Villa was a trade, 99D tackle. Hutchinson retires from the league. And I'm not sure the math on this. I don't know how we're a 98 overall. Final season. Let's see what Kyle LeBlanc's got cooked up, baby. We literally love going nine and eight. You can kind of start to feel this team falling apart, though. I don't know. We're going to be able to make it through this. Taking on the Buccaneers in the wild card. Holy shit, we got smacked. 41 to 19, and that's going to be it. Let's sim this up to the offseason, and let's see how year 10 went, and we can, put a, we can put a bow on this. The 10th year season recap, the Cowboys beat the Texans, and Lamar Cunningham is Super Bowl MVP. 2031, it was the Saints. 2030 was us with Super Bowl MVP Kyle LeBlanc in his second year. 29, it was the Falcons. 28, it was the Ravens over the Bears. 27 was us. And this was Jared Goff. We had Jared Goff at QB here. 26, we went but didn't win it. So three Super Bowl appearances in 10 years, two wins. And our ending team, how many original Lions players remain? Amon Ra St. Brown, Panay Sewell, Sam Laporta. Three guys I love, man. No Jameer Gibbs. I'm sad about that. We knew Goff would be gone. Jack Campbell gets Superstar X Factor in our final season. He's 33 years old and he gets Superstar X Factor. That's crazy. Kirby Joseph, probably our MVP, man. He has been amazing. Brian Branch. That might be it, man. 10 years, three Super Bowl appearances, and two wins. If that happens in real life, I'll be a happy Lions fan. This was an awesome rebuild, boys. We're kind of low on cap space, but it was a blast. Hey, I appreciate you guys for watching. As always, this is a long rebuild, so I really hope you guys enjoyed. These rebuilds have been fun. Hey, shit, I'll see you guys next Friday with another rebuild. I love y'all. Thanks for watching, as always, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace.